ki te ingoa o te matua o te tama o te wairua tapu. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Easter tide, everyone. I hope you are all keeping well. Our service and our reflection for today comes from Richard O'Day. Thanks, Richard, for your ministry. Today, my greetings to you include a special tribute to Mrs. Pat Kirk, mother of Christine and Gordon, and a loved member of our St. Luke's Church family. As some of you are aware, Pat has been unwell and had a surgery recently. Sadly, she died on Friday morning. It's very hard for her family and friends, and also for us all as her church family, that we are unable to get together to celebrate her life, which she very beautifully lived. Pat with Shirley Jones did the church floral arrangements for many, many years, and most of the beautiful fresh flowers came from their gardens. Nearly two years ago, after her 90th birthday, she told me that she would like to stop doing the flowers. However, she would be available if we needed her help on special occasions. I used to love watching Pat take great care in arranging flowers and making sure that the colors are well coordinated, the foliage is set right, and she, t she always presented us with the most beautiful flowers at church. Pat's garden always looked beautiful and so did she. I loved listening to her talk about her experiences, about her children and about their families. I know Pat as a very practical and a very strong person and I give thanks to God for the gift of knowing her. We will miss her dearly and we pray that she rests in peace and rise in glory. In our sadness, we are at peace to know that she is with the Lord. And our love and our prayers are with Chris and Gordon and their families. Especially at times like this, we thank God for the faith and hope we have in the risen Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ. That when our life here on earth is over, we continue to live forever with the Lord. Some of you have very rightly said to me that in spite of our email contacts and phone calls, meetings via Zoom and so forth, nothing can replace our face-to-face -face interaction. Kanohi kite kanohi. And I completely agree with you. We are looking forward to that time when we can all get together again. For now, especially for those of you who are alone in your bubble, these days might even seem longer. And I pray that you will continue to find peace and strength in the company of our Lord. Like me, if you are blessed to have loved ones in your bubble, do continue to recognize this gift of time with them. It's been great that some of us have been able to have our Sunday communal worship services via Zoom and I want to thank Jan Barker for hosting our services. We will also continue to have this email version of our service and of course we know that some of you, some of them are joining with our worship by using our Life Together booklet. This week in our prayers, please pray for families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19, those who are in hospital or unwell in their own homes. Also, please pray for rest home staff members and residents, especially for Hillview, Tikawiti, Retirement Village in Pio Pio, Betty Homes in Otorohanga. 
please also pray for funeral directors, especially Jinin, Phil, Eon, and Lynette of Vijay Williams Tikawiti. They are not only doing their jobs, but also having to fill in for family and friends. Also, please pray for our police, our healthcare professionals, food bank volunteers, individuals who are caring for our elderly neighbors, for teachers, parents, and children who are adjusting to new ways of doing school at home. And of course, for those God places in your heart as well. So continue to take care, stay safe, and stay well. I leave you with God's blessings from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.